I've made a lot of piston doors in my time, and some of them are great and practical, and a lot of them aren't, so I'm going to show those to you today. To start off with, this one may have been my first 3x3 piston door. I don't remember making this one, but it was several years ago. The lever is in a weird place, and if I close it, you can tell exactly how it works. The cursed part about this one being that this block has to be a non-gravity affected block, and this one has to be a gravity affected block, which means it's impossible for this door to really, like, look good. Also, unlike a normal 3x3 piston door, it doesn't look cool, because you know exactly how the middle block is taken out. This may have been my second 3x3 piston door, but I also cheated on this one. Uh, the closing sequence looks like a pretty normal 3x3 piston door, but when you open it, you can see exactly how it works, and exactly why I need these non-sticky blocks around the edges. Now, I spent a long time working on this triple piston extender, figuring it out myself, and it almost certainly would have been easier to just, like, actually figure out how to do a 3x3 piston door properly. Now, this was my first proper 3x3 piston door, as you can see, it's just a whole ton of observers. I think those are really like the only redstone components, maybe a couple of dust. And if you close it, you'll see that my double piston extender overshoots a bit, so I have to correct for that. But because the same circuit both closes and opens it, the opening sequence also has that <laughs> hilarious little block coming from the edge. Not to mention it is horrendously slow and enormous for what it does. Now I'm still pretty proud of this door. There's an older video on my channel about it, but you have to admit, its proportions don't make it the easiest on the eyes, and also its opening and closing sequence isn't exactly quick nor seamless, and you can tell exactly how it works because the pistons are showing right here. Also when you close it, it overshoots and has to push itself back twice. This is the biggest door I ever made. It's 12 by 15 I believe, and it's quite a bit laggy, and also extremely impractical. For one, its back isn't exactly pretty, so when it's closed, you can only really use one side of it. Also, it leaves this gap here that is impossible to get rid of, you're just going to have to deal with this every time you go in and out. Oh, and also, who needs a door this big? That's the main thing about it. Now, this is a house with a piston door, and this is one of the first piston doors I ever built, like, shortly after getting Minecraft nine years ago. But if you open it, you will notice that, despite the outside being pretty sizable, the inside is literally just this, because the redstone takes up the entire rest of the building. I tried making a smaller version a while later, and it didn't work, so, yeah. Eventually I did get good enough to, like, build a working door. I've done more since then. Now, I honestly don't remember making this door, and this doesn't look like a piston door, but it is. And, yeah. Honestly, this may be the most practical one here, and that's saying something. Now, this looks like a normal uh, 4x4 door with an indentation. I have it on best authority that these are sometimes referred to as vault doors. But anyways, if you open, you see the opening and closing sequence is a bit eccentric. The next door I have on my list is the door to this elevator, which, this elevator itself is extremely cursed, in that in a lot of ways, but the door is one of them. First, that happens when you go past the second floor, and secondly, yeah, they don't open at the same time, which is just, just excellent. Another cursed door is this one, which is too fast, and not like extremely too fast, you think you'll be able to get through in that time, but when you actually try to, it's too fast. You have to be right up against it, and even then, you don't get all the way through. This one I also have a video about. You just get right in here. This may not look like a door. Oops. But it is. Now this one may look like a normal piston door, until you realize that the button is right here, where the piston should be. And as you can see, it is... This may be the definition of being too big for what it does, because you could just put the button somewhere else, like on the ceiling or the floor, but this is better. My first attempt at a 3x3 door, one, I gave up and just put an iron door there because I couldn't do it. Two, it only works closing behind you when you're going the wrong way. 
And also you can only go one way. This is really weird, and I don't know why I did it like this, but that's, this was, again, several years ago, back in like 2014. Now this one is another 2x2 piston door, but as you can see, it's made of glass, but you can't see the pistons. And this is entirely unnecessary, and also enormous, and very slow. Thanks for watching, I've been Parberway. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, that would be a very logical thing to do. I have made tutorials for some of these doors in the past, so go find them. I'm not going to make it easier for you by putting them in the description. You're going to have to take the adventure yourself. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.